Welcome to the TomTattle.com Driving Traffic Series. In this fourth module, we will cover how to get your small business on the map, on the Google map that is, with Google My Business. In this tutorial, you will learn how to sign up for Google My Business, how to set up your Google My Business account, and I will also cover some strategies and tips on how you can rank higher in search. <laughs> Have you ever conducted a search on Google for a local service and seen this map up here? It shows a whole bunch of different businesses in your area along with their contact details. And I'm sure you're thinking, hey, how can I get my business on that map? Let me walk you through step by step and show you how you can get one of these letters from Google to get your business listed on the map. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do to uh, get things rolling here to get on Google My Business is you want to go to google.com slash business. You'll see up to here, google.com slash business. Now, once you land on this page, you will want to click on the start now button. I believe it's uh, in Canada, it's, it says uh, get on Google. And in USA, it'll say start now. So simply click on the start now button. Now, what it will do is take you to your Google account. If you're not already signed in, it will ask you to sign into your Google account. Now, if you do not have a Google account, we cover that. In module one, you simply need to sign up for a Gmail account to create a Google account. So simply carry on, click on start now. And I am signed into my account already. So it takes me to this map here and it says search by business name or address. So I'm just gonna make up a fictitious business name here. We will call it Drippy Plumbing. That's a terrible business name, so don't copy that if you're thinking of using that. And we'll click search, and and obviously uh, Drippy Plumbing is not uh, already used. Now sometimes your business might be already on there. Google has, uh, you know, does a lot of work in the background. Sometimes you'll you'll search even though you've never listed your business, it might already be on there. But 99% of the time, if you've never listed it, it is not on there. And you would simply go down to I've correctly entered the name and address and click on that. So it asks once again for your business name. I'm just simply going to go through here, fill out all these details and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I've entered in uh, my my details here. And where it says main business phone, you'll notice a uh, pop-up window, add your phone number optional so that customers can contact you. So you would put your business number in there. Unfortunately, I'm just doing a demo fake account here, so I'm not going to enter anything in here. Uh, next, it asks you to enter a category. So, this one, I will just type in plumber. So I'll just start typing in here. And there we go. You can see an option comes up, plumber. But if, you know, you can, you can try a bunch of different things. Uh, painter, painter and decorator, uh, restaurant. You get the point. Ask for all different types of restaurants so you can niche down. But anyways, I will go back to plumber. So pick your category. And then this uh, important option comes up. I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location. So uh, again, if you're a plumber, electrician, and you're going to your customers' uh, locations to, do, to provide your services, you would click on yes. In this case, I will click on yes. If you're a restaurant, no. You're not going out to your customers, so you would click no. So we'll click yes, and then continue. So I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location. Again, that's clicked off. My business delivers goods and services uh, within this area. So you would simply enter your, your zip code or city. And I will just put in Toronto. And within how many kilometers of my business? Um, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, my bad. You can select the city or 
it already has your address so you can say a radius let's say of you know you could do 10 kilometers we're in Canada here so obviously you can select miles uh, I also serve customers at my business address. Your address will be hidden from the public if this box isn't checked. So that's an option that you can consider. Click on continue. Uh, anyways, it, in this particular example, it says, okay, it looks like there's another business similar to this, and that's not even the same street. I'm not sure why that came up. I'm just gonna say, keep the information I entered. Okay, so the next option, uh, you just, just confirm, make every, sure everything's spelled correctly here, and then confirm that you're authorized, agree to their terms of service, that you're authorized to manage this business, and continuing will create a Google Plus page for this business. So click Continue. It says Setting up Google My Business. And it says, how would you like to get your verification code? And by mail is the option I have here. And then you would just simply click on mail. And what would happen, that little uh, postcard that I showed you earlier in the intro video, in approximately one to two weeks, you will get a postcard from Google and with instructions on how to verify. You Once you get that postcard, you would simply go to google.com slash verify my business and then it will ask you to enter in your verification code they'll send you I believe it's a five digit verification code and then that's it that's how they prove that you're the actual legit business owner that you have access to that uh, snail mail that arrives at your mailbox and you can verify with the code and that way they don't have uh, spammers or internet geeks like myself that wanted to create a whole bunch of fake businesses and and this this is the way Google uh, prevents a whole bunch of fake spam accounts being created so obviously I'm not going to carry on and from here because that's not my real address and I'm just uh, doing this for demonstration purposes so okay so once you've verified your uh, pin number that you've got in the mail you will be directed to your Google my business account page where you can begin uh, making modifications and, and adding all the details about your business. Now, I want to uh, show you an example of one of my uh, verified Google My Business accounts. I have a rental cottage on beautiful Lake Huron. I uh, actually occasionally rent it out, but uh, I, I nonetheless created a, a Google My Business account page. So if you were to go on the Google Maps looking for a rental cottage, it, it would appear in that area. So uh, once you're on that page, you have uh, your home page here. It gives you insights, some stats. Now we're in the off season. Uh, rental season's over. We're, we're uh, just into October here. It's getting quite cold up here in Canada and not many people are wanting to rent a cottage on the lake. So you can see my stats are way down the searches for this month. But it, it gives you some insights as to uh, exactly how many people are viewing your listing on Google My Business. Then uh, there's a section about reviews. Again, uh, no reviews for me. Not a, I don't have a whole lot of customers. I might have you know, uh, just a handful each year, so I have had nobody enter a review, a review yet. But if you are a, you know, a restaurant, for example, that would be where this would show up. And that's very important for your search rankings, your reviews. One caveat, do not enter your own reviews, okay? Do not have your friends or do not pay for reviews. Those are bad. Google has uh, little catches in their algorithm to catch those kind of things that trigger alarms if you start doing that. So just a warning. Uh, YouTube. Uh, I have no YouTube channel for my rental cottage. And finally, uh, <clears throat> you can connect your Google Analytics and your Google Plus account down at the bottom, which I have not done. This is really not a serious business for me. It's just more of a play thing and uh, great for demonstration purposes. 
So here you can see I have a bunch of photos. Photos are very important for your, your Google Plus business. You want very clean, crisp pictures. You would simply click on Manage Photos. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can add a logo right here. Um, you can have your, your cover. See, this is when uh, people do a search for you know, a rental cottage in my area. There's a cover photo that shows up. There's a profile picture. You can select those. And if you want to add more images, you would simply, down at the bottom here, add a photo. And add lots of photos. People, customers love photos. So the info, info tab up here, you'll see various tabs up top. <coughs> Excuse me. The... Uh, I'll have to block out a bunch of this stuff here, but anyways, you have the opportunity to, you know, your your business address, your business name. Now, one thing that I want to point out that's very very important with local business, all these references to your business must be the same. So if you go ahead and and do a yellow page listing, uh, if I were to put Bayfield Cottage Rental Inc or something slightly different that's not cool in google's eyes okay this is what happens because now they have this business registered here as bayfield cottage rental the next thing you have is uh bayfield cottage rental inc on yellow pages and they look at that as two different businesses and it starts to confuse <coughs> the uh the search algorithm and for that, it beings it's a it says okay you're not making all your listings the exact same. We're gonna give you a, just a slight penalty, and you're confusing us. So make sure that's that's a, one of the very uh, most important tips that I can give you when doing uh, optimizing for local is what they call citation. So just go through if there's any other links linking to your business. Make sure the the name is exact. Make sure the address. Is exact what you have in your Google my business account okay moving on you have an opportunity to set your business hours I have a rental cottage I mean I don't really have business hours but I, I just fill those out uh, you can add special hours your phone number your website address very important and again here's where you would add photos um, <clears throat> it tells me this is published on Google search and also on Google Google Maps. So the next thing we have is a reviews tab, which again I have no reviews. So you could go through those and uh, you know respond to any reviews that you get. And finally, the insights tab is just your metrics, exactly what kind of data uh, you're getting, what customers view uh, your 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 business on Google. This is listings on search and listings on maps, just exactly where they're finding me. Again, September is a slow month for the, the cottage rental season up here in, where I'm located in Canada, so not a ton of traffic on this website. So that's a quick overview of Google My Business and, and what you want to do to set up your account. Make sure all your, your details, your your website link, your phone number is there, your photos, add all those. There's also an opportunity to add a virtual tour if you want and attract customers with a view of your business. Now, this is a new, recently new feature, um, <clears throat> very popular. They have a certified photographer from, uh, a Google certified photographer come to your place of business and will do this uh, photography for you and it's I, what what they're finding is people who are businesses that do this do rank a little higher so it's a very cool feature up here just simply click the get free quote button and a photographer in your area will be in contact with you okay if I want to add some more details I just simply go to the bottom of my uh, Google Plus business page here and click on the Google Plus signal here symbol sorry and this will take me to my Google Plus page so you can see how many just had over 13,000 views uh, people looking at this listing 
gives you gives you a few more detailed stats. Here I've added some you know videos and whatnot. Uh, you can add a bunch of pictures in here, and any you know write ups or any any little details. Yeah, it it is good practice, and I haven't done this again. This is not an, an important business to me, but good practice to you know constantly update your your Google Plus business page with any little details. It just uh, it it gives you a few more points in Google's Google's eyes, saying that you are active, and uh, they like active people on their Google Plus pages. Okay. That concludes our beginner level driving traffic to your small business website series. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're able to make the needle move on your sales. I'd love to hear any success stories in the comments section below. If you uh, tried this series and, and eventually are able to have some success, I'd love your feedback. Just make sure you do not leave any links so you do not get flagged for spam. Where do we go from here? I have an upcoming tutorial on the Yoast SEO plugin to help uh, boost the SEO performance of your website in organic search to help you rise in the rankings. I'll go through step by step exactly how I set that up and uh, what you need to be doing and, and the do's and don'ts anyways with the Yoast SEO plugin. I will also be covering how to set up Google Search Console, a very useful tool to give you pointers from Google indicators exactly uh, if you have any problems with your website, where you're getting links from, uh, there's a lot of valuable information in the Google console and I will be eventually doing a t tutorial. Uh, so you might want to check that out. But in order to check that out, you need to make sure that you subscribe. So in order to subscribe, uh, in the little uh, logo in the bottom right hand corner of your screen of the video, you will see my logo. Just simply click on that if you haven't already subscribed and the subscribe button will pop out and simply uh, check that if you're interested in getting more valuable information like you received in this series. I also appreciate any thumbs up or likes. Um, it, it keeps this channel going and uh, I sincerely thank all my subscribers, all my followers for watching my videos. Uh, it's you guys that, that keep me doing this and I sincerely uh, I really appreciate that.